for me, Knoxville is always intense. Uh, you know, a place that I don't have as many laps at. Just so much different style of driving and racing than 95% of the tracks we race at all year long. The money that they are putting up for this race, you know, every position matters. They continue to build this event and uh, uh, this place seats a lot of people and it sells out every year for Friday and Saturday night typically. So it just shows you uh, how much the community appreciates this place. Knoxville, obviously, out in the middle of nowhere, and then you have a, a half-mile dirt track. The emotions that are wrapped up in this event are, are, in my opinion, unmatched, right? This is the one that everybody wants to win. I mean, I, I don't think there's anywhere else in the country that, uh, you know, kind of races like this place. It's, uh, it's kind of like a chess match. Blake Hahn and Dustin Selvage bring us to the green flag on Brent Professional Agriculture Night at the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals. Chase Randall to the cushion in turn three. Blake Hahn runs the bottom out of turn four, racing for the top spot on the opening night of the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals, side by side into turn one. Chase Randall through oh, the middle upside of the down. On the throttle, we are back underway at the Knoxville Raceway. Sean's trying to take a look at the lead, but Randall able to drive by him on the outside. Goes to the bottom to block is entering into turn number three. Shot slides up to the top of the racetrack. Randall right through the middle. Now back to the bottom to make a run down the front shoot. Donnie shots. Ducks back to the inside, still racing for the lead. Down the back shoot for the final time. And in turn number three, through the middle to the top of turn number four. Off of turn four. Donnie shots will win. Brand professional agriculture qualifying night number one.
yeah, so obviously started off really good, not drawing the greatest pill and going quick time. And new man, I just had to try to transfer to this heat race and uh, got tight and dirty air with another car and uh, slowed up. And another guy came and took my front end down, went straight in the wall, destroyed the race car. And finishing last in the heat race just kills your whole night. We got to go Friday night and, and perform. And there's only four spots. There's going to be about, you know, 70 cars, 60 cars, and uh, only four spots to be had. So. We're going to have to be on our game every time we hit the racetrack, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I've been here for the last week and it's it's cool to see it get more people every day, every day, every day. And you, you think there no more people can show up than they do all the way till Saturday. Uh, it gives you a little bit of chills every time you're rolling this place, especially Knoxville week uh, for the Nationals. This race, um, the hype around it, the atmosphere around it, it builds up throughout the week. And I feel like it, you know, this year really, um, on Wednesday night, it seems like it's, the, the, there's been more people than ever before here. There's people parked on people's uh, lawns and on the streets and in the park and anywhere they can park their camper, their tent or their or their motor home, uh, they are making room for it. It's, you know, uh, by far my favorite race of the year. I love being here, you know, camping with family and friends and, you know, the week long uh, build up of the excitement and the atmosphere that, that comes with Knoxville Nationals is just, you know, unparalleled. And on the pole from Elk Grove, California, in the Finley Farms, Vulcan's Brothers Trucking Flow Racing, JVI Group, Glen Styers Racing, car number 57, Young Money, Kyle Larson! Kyle Larson and Rico Abreu bring us to the green flag. Larson jumps to the early lead in turn one. Donnie shots by Rico for second on the move down low. The 41 of Carson Macedo. Down the back straight away, Macedo looking to the inside of Rico Abreu. Then it's Kerry Madsen and Logan Schuhart right behind him. Side by side for the third spot. Rico up on the top of the racetrack now. He'll move by Macedo down the front shoe. Donnie shots that time by 1.2 seconds behind the leader. And now Rico Abreu's going to run on shots. They'll race for second at the end of the back straight away into turn three. Good battle for the runner up spot. Shots to the bottom. Here comes Rico up on the top of the racetrack. Rico Abreu gets by Donnie Schatz. Rico took a quick peek to the inside of Aaron Ransel. Now forced to go to the bottom. Oh, and a caution. One turns one and two. Chase Randall bringing out the caution. And we'll take a look at the right rear tire on the number 24. Rico Abreu may have a right rear tire that looks low. And it definitely looks very low. Brings him around the top side. Gets to the scoreboard on the gas. We're back to green. Back underway. Drivers fanning out across the racetrack. Green flag 
mistake. Seth Logan, Shuhart, who tries to make the low side work, comes after Carson Messina, trying to take the third spot away. Logan Shuhart on the move, battling Donnie Shots for second. They'll go side by side out of turn two. Shots has the momentum, retains the spot. And meanwhile, they'll go side by side for second again into three and four. Here's the sharp racing one as sliding up in front of the defending race champion. Logan Shuhart now the runner up spot. He'll set his sights on your leader. Down the back shoot, Donnie Shots still racing third. David Gravel in hot pursuit. He runs in the fourth spot. Oh, trouble! Logan Shuhart is off the pace. Logan Shuhart slowing in turn four. A slight puff of smoke out of the back of the Shark Racing number one S. Another fantastic restart for Kyle Larson. David Gravel immediately to the top.